as a fitness professional in the body that I'm in, I was really worried about being the biggest person in the room, people judging me, why is this fat girl becoming a personal trainer? You know, she knows nothing about fitness. If she can't do it for herself, how can she do it for other people? As a child, I was always overweight, always deemed myself the fat kid. I was the one who never did cross country, never did athletics unless forced to, having to go for a run after a school assembly and always being the last one to finish or the the kid that never did any physical activity. I kind of always made a joke out of it to make myself feel better. Humor was kind of how I covered up my insecurity, but it definitely did affect how I felt about myself. I remember standing in changing rooms and crying that clothes wouldn't fit me the same as they fit my friends and just feeling really self-conscious of my body. I did have friends probably in my later teenage years where we tried to be accountability buddies and go to the gym and eat healthy. I joined gyms because that's what I thought I had to do to lose weight. I was doing a lot of cardio things and I hate cardio, so I would force myself to do them. When I first went to university, I joined a local gym, I hired a personal trainer and she introduced me to lifting weights and kind of what my body could do rather than what my body looked like. So I definitely started to find that I was more accepting of my body. I was seeing it change in ways that I wasn't used to. I decided university wasn't really for me, that I wanted to enter the fitness space after spending majority of my life hating exercise. I was really worried about being the biggest person in the room, people judging me as a fitness professional in the body that I'm in negative comments came through. One of the gym's head trainer kind of looked me up and down and sort of said like, you don't have the right look to be here, to work here. And that happened in a couple of places. It was really hard to come back from that. There has been a lot of negativity online throughout the years. Your body is your CV. Why would I ever hire you? If you can't lose weight for yourself, why would I ever give you money to help me lose weight? I definitely know that in my younger years, I would have felt a lot more comfortable training and learning from somebody who had a similar body body type to me. The thing that makes my approach to fitness and training unique is the mindset aspect of things. Talking about my experiences, showing what my body looks like, sharing my experiences and how I feel in my journey, I think is really just creating the awareness that fitness is for everybody. It doesn't have a specific look, it doesn't have a specific feel, you don't have to be a specific structure of human to want to look after yourself better. I think it comes back to working on the belief that you are worthy of taking up space wherever you are. I would love to see the fitness industry just be more inclusive in general. I would love to see people calling out stuff that is actually bad for people like low calorie diets, restrictive diets, over exercising that is normalized at the moment. I would love to see just a healthy lifestyle being promoted. I am seen, are you?